Perry tracking the storms in Central Texas. Uh, so far it looks uh, calm in Austin, but the uh, things are going to change, right? Right, yeah. So when you're going into it, this is going to be a nocturnal overnight event. So I'm going to first take you outside now or Whittlesea Landscape Supplies weather camera there in Round Rock. Again, mostly quiet. I mean, you wouldn't think anything exciting is going to happen. It's been a pretty quiet day. We've seen cloud cover all day long. A little bit of light rain here and there, but nothing too scary. Still keeping eyes on this stronger shower and even now some uh, uh, lightning picking up there. So thunderstorm now moving out of Milam County. This is not severe, but we will keep an eye on it for our friends up towards the north. Everybody else just some weak showers at the moment. If I zoom this out, you'll notice we've got some activity up further to the north of us. Even a tornado warning now just on the other side of the state line. That's in Oklahoma, but we've got severe thunderstorms out in the Texas Panhandle, including West Texas, Lubbock area, Abilene area, San Angelo area, all dealing with strong to severe thunderstorms. We will get our share overnight. So this looks to be 2 a.m. to 7 a.m. that we've got the highest risk of severe thunderstorms. Now the Storm Prediction Center still has us under an enhanced risk, which is a three out of five, but it includes every single one of our counties here in Central Texas. So this is going to be a big deal. I do think at this point it's just likely that we're going to be looking at severe thunderstorms. When it comes to the threat, large hail, certainly possible destructive to damaging winds, certainly possible, and even a tornado. You know, over the last 24 hours, the tornado risk is what they've been modifying, and it's increased over the last 24 hours. So we are underneath a 10% significant risk of tornadoes. And basically what that means is an EO2 or greater within 25 miles of any point pretty much within Austin and scooting down towards the southwest. Not everybody's underneath that, but I want everybody to be prepared for a possible tornado overnight. When it comes to the timing here, this is where I'm going to spend most of my time because I think this is crucial when it comes to preparing for this. From 7 p.m. towards about midnight, spotty showers, isolated non-severe thunderstorms. That's what we're saying. This is going to be a Sunday morning event. Watch as we get into the 2, even 3 a.m. hour. These storms have great potential to be severe. It impacts the hill country from about 2 a.m. to 4 a.m. And we're looking at increasing storm coverage and intensity through the early morning hours. This continues to impact us at 5 a.m. 6 a.m. in the metro, anywhere from 4 a.m. to 7 a.m. is when I'm thinking these storms are going to be impacting our metro counties, Williamson, Travis, and Hayes. It's going to continue to move east by 7 a.m., but watch as we go from 8 a.m. onwards. Everything is gone. So again, 2 a.m. to 7 a.m. What does that mean when it comes to being prepared for this? I think, yes, it's possible we see some flooding issues, but that's not my top concern. My concern is the fact that this is going to hit overnight when a lot of us are sleeping and we're not paying attention. That's why we're making such a big deal about that KXAN weather app, because that's what's going to wake you up. That's what's going to alert you if a tornado warning gets put into effect for your community. You have to keep the app on and make sure you download it. Alerts on, your location is set, and make sure you do not have do not disturb on because that was a problem we learned coming out of the Nashville tornado event about a month ago is people who go to sleep and put the do not disturb on, they didn't get any of those alerts. So please make sure you're staying prepared. Again, rainfall is beneficial for us, one to two inches, but this all happens within the next 12 to 14 hours. Tomorrow afternoon for your Easter holiday, 86 degrees in the afternoon, and the only thing you're going to be worried about is your eggs blown away. We've got west-southwest winds 15 to 25 miles per hour tomorrow afternoon. So we can deal with the wind. If we can get through the severe risk overnight, we can deal with the winds tomorrow. Now tomorrow, when it comes to the severe storm risk, this is just for the morning activity. But I'm going to give you a heads up for our friends and family elsewhere. This same setup is going to cause some nasty, nasty weather out towards the deep south. Their risk is actually even greater than ours. Four to five, Louisiana, portions of Mississippi and Alabama. So if you've got friends and family in the deep south, give them a heads up because they're going to be looking at the tornado risk after we do. And again, ours comes 2 a.m. to 7 a.m. overnight. 86 degrees for tomorrow afternoon. This cold front that blows in Sunday night is going to pack a punch because look at these temperatures we start next week. It's nice that we've got the sunshine to look forward to. To, but it's going to be much cooler than what we should be looking at for April. Low to upper 60s Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then by the time the temperature
temperatures actually get back up to normal and warm enough to be outside, the rain chances return Friday and Saturday. But of course, all our focus is on those strong to severe storms, likely overnight tonight into the early morning hours on Sunday. For more information and to stay up to date with us, KXAN on air and online.